this is a small intro before we start the reading. I hope that you're all doing well, uh, my beautiful gems. And um, I want to thank everybody here that's been with me uh, from the very beginning. Those of you that came halfway or recently here or new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I'm active in my community now for 25 years. And I channel messages from my higher self and the divine. And I use the cards as a tool on YouTube to deliver you the messages. Again, I want to thank all of you for all the beautiful messages about my mom, all the love and light, all the beautiful comments from any which avenue that you try to reach me. Um, I'm truly grateful and humbled by this beautiful experience. And so is my mom, you know, and thank you for all the beautiful words to my mom. She reads everything that you, uh, all of you write, and she sends her love back as well. Just remember that my mom uh, believes in, the, in prayers and they are a form of miracles. And so she is praying in the morning, in the afternoon, and at nighttime for all of you here that are subscribed to my channel and on the collective. So she's sending love, healing, peace, and protection to all of you, okay? So underneath the video, okay, you will notice there's gonna be a link. Under my name, you get 10% off. So and let's say there's a crystal that you want and they do not have it there. All you need to do is write to that beautiful family and they will try to find you what it is that you're looking for. For those of you that join me on Patreon, thank you for joining. I will be there with you shortly doing videos and being contact with you one on one. And for others of you that do want to join, just the link will be underneath the video. For those of you that want to follow me on Facebook, okay, my Facebook is Patricia Luna. For those of you that want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patricia underscore 1111. I do come on uh, Instagram randomly to give free readings. And also, if you need a healer, let's say you've done all your work that you've done, okay? And then this happened to me too. So like, just to say, like, I've done my work, whatever, but there was sometimes something that was stagnant. I couldn't pull through it. Well, I have two beautiful healers that I work with, uh, that work with me. And I could tell you, you will not be disappointed by their healings. And I also have a shaman who's a dowser that also cleans uh, energies, removes energies from past lives. If ever you need a healer or a dowser that's a shaman please contact me under my uh, under the video there will be a, um <clears throat> there will be a um my email address where you can reach out to me and i'm going to send you the contacts because sharing is caring right okay so again let's uh, i want to thank everybody that's here don't forget to subscribe to me don't forget to like the channel don't forget to hit the notification bell and press all because when you press all, that means that you will get notified when a, I post a video. And um, also, how do you support me? Well, by supporting me is by liking, sharing, commenting, and of course, watching the videos fully. And again, um, you know, my beautiful gems, you know how I care about you and how much I love all of you. And I just love being in your energy. And your readings in the last couple of months have been much much better like you are where you need to be so let's get started with your reading hi gems and welcome to your reading this is from may 18 to may 23rd 2020 so let's start with your reading how are we going to do your reading well we're going to start with the singing bowl and then after that i will look at your affirmation and your angel cards after that i will give you channel messages from spirit himself and we're going to get into your reading Celtic cross where I'm going to show you where you are right now what spirit wants you to focus on what you need what's coming towards you what spirit wants you to know and your possible future and at the end of the reading I'm going to give you animal spirit card your crystal card and what the quantum energy wants you to know so let's get started so again I have the singing bowl here I'm going to uh, cleanse my energy and yours too and at the same time I'm going to send love light protection and peace to the collective so let's get started Perfect. Now I'm going to take my spray. Of course, I moved Archangel Michael here and I have Archangel Raphael for you here. So of course, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, I'm going to spray my sacred space, some for you and some for me. 
Okay, here we go. Now let's look into your affirmation. So your affirmation for the week is freedom, Gemini, freedom. And it says here, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. What the angels are trying to tell you, workshops and seminars. It says, attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. And Archangel Raphael says, says, you're on the right path. You're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. And from the sacred soulmates, you got reflect. It says here, we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? So we attract soulmates based on the lessons we need for growth. Is this hindering or supporting you? This is a question that you need to ask if this has part of uh, this has to do with part of a relationship that you're having problems with, or is this something that you need to know? Okay, now I'm gonna shuffle the cards and I'm gonna start giving you some channeled message from the divine. <clears throat> what I'm picking up here is that there is some form of decision that has to be made. Okay, because I feel like uh, some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, you're looking into the past, you're looking into the future, okay, uh, uh, and and but you're not in the moment here, and you're going to be, maybe some of you will be at crossroads at this time. I feel that Neptune, the planet Neptune is very much charged in your reading, okay, maybe some of you have, Nep uh, your Gemini probably could be in Neptune, okay, or something like that, if not, I see a lot of, some type of illusion or confusion around you around this time. I feel that a lot of you are right now, okay, Geminis are taking care of your oneself. You're taking care of yourself, okay? Meaning self-care. I see the candles. I see the bathtub. I see the Epsom salt. I see that you're doing a lot of self-care, taking care and healing yourself. And I also feel that for some of you, you are in separation of someone, of course, because of what what is taking place now on the collective maybe that's why but i do feel that you're, there's a longing for someone longing i just feel like a yearning or longing and a lot of you are uh, having memories a lot of the past right now you're looking into the past but what i'm seeing is that also venus okay the planet venus is here for you and it's going to offer you love friendship but there is some type of offering where there's going to be celebrations for you your gifts are coming in of course your birthday month is coming up pretty quickly and um I also see that, um, you know, there's going to be like a, uh, some type of renewal in, in, within you, like a spark within you that's going to take place. Also an activation. For some of you, this will be also an activation your, with your higher self, you know. And um, and it's about a lot of you are remembering and you, you're awakening. You're awakening to, to yourself or to your reality. And they're asking you to trust in divine timing. Okay, trust in divine timing. So this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, uh, Rising, Venus. Any, anywhere where you have Gemini in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this is your reading. If the reading resonates, claim it. It's all yours. If you see that the reading does not resonate or maybe just a part, look at your rising. Look at your moon, which is your emotions. Venus is about love and Mercury is about communication. And see maybe with the other readings if there's something that you're looking for. Okay, and maybe you will find more information there. So now let's get started with your reading. Okay, I'm going to cut the cards in three. And I'm going to show you where you are, are, are at this moment. Uh, your uh, what, what spirit wants you to focus on. And your recent past. What's coming towards you. What spirit wants you to know. What, what you need to know. And your possible future. So let's get started. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. And one last card. Overall energy. Wow. The magician. That's amazing. 
you are this the magician talks about that you have all the elements all the tools whatever it is your tools are to manifest all your heart's desires this is beautiful where you are right now my beautiful gems you are with the six of pentacles whatever you're giving you are receiving and things are starting to be in balance what is crossing you is the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo or Capricorn, and oh sorry, Taurus and Capricorn energy coming in. Someone that's taking their time. They're taking their time, but they're coming in slowly. Okay, this person, whether this has to do with a job, okay, maybe this has to do with work, or this has to do with a relationship, whatever it has to do. When they come in, they bring blessings, and they're the type of people that have your back. Okay, they're the type of people that will always have your back. What they want you to focus on is the Ten of Pentacles. Congratulations. So the Ten of Pentacles talks about abundance, talks about uh, unexpected money, inheritance money, large sum of money. This could be a company, two people coming in together in partnership. Whatever it has to do with it, it's the strongest card in the deck next to the Sun card. So this is very beautiful. So whatever this is, whether if this is a business or love, it's solid. In the recent past, you had the Nine of, uh, of Swords energy. So maybe you had a lot of fears. You had a lot of worry. You couldn't sleep at night, okay? Uh, uh, you know, you had a lot of, uh, maybe it was the energies that you were picking up on, okay? But that was in the past. What is above you is the Page of Wands. My Page of Wands is about divine timing. So this talks about divine timing. That's here for you. The right, all the doors are, are aligned. Everything is going to be opened up in the way that it should be. So you're seeing all the signs. You know that they're coming in. You're feeling them. You see them, the synchronicity, the numerology, whatever it is. And there's something with the page, which is a beginning of a start of where there's passion involved. What is coming towards you is the seven of pentacles. And this talks about where you are reevaluating everything to see how far you come from the past till now, reevaluating your money or just your friendships, your relationships, whatever it is, you are reevaluating in the seventh position, you got the Knight of Swords energy. I love the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is someone coming in, okay, Gemini, or this could be you giving a message to someone or someone's coming in, but I feel like that someone is coming in to give you a message of truth, okay? There's some type of message that will be coming in for you. And what Spirit wants you to know is that you got the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is still, look at the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, very nice, okay? And the Ten of Cups talks about feeling abundant, feeling content. Even if, let's say, you're single and you don't have anybody in your life, you know, like if you don't have like a boyfriend or girlfriend or a soulmate or anybody, you are contented in your life at this time. You're happy with what you have, with the people that you have. This talks about a soulmate as well, okay? And um, a start of emotions that are taking place. There is a relationship here. In the Hopes and Fears, you got the Queen of Wands energy. And I feel that you, this is you, my beautiful gems, that you are in this Queen of Wands energy because I feel that there's a renewal and a spark within you. You are in the energy of the Queen of Wands, which is a strong fem feminine energy, very optimistic, very outgoing, very truthful, and very passionate as well. And the last card, there's two cards that popped out, and I'm going to take both. you got Temperance and the Ace of Wands. So, gems, you are earth angels, okay? A lot of you have been cultivating patience, okay? Uh, this is about also a lot of you have been um, moderating your life, like keeping things in balance. That's not just your body, but your mind and your spirit. And it talks about having that patience. And with the Ace of Wands, this is a start of something really passionate, maybe within you, with a relationship, or maybe a career, or something that's coming in from the divine. So, it's very beautiful to see this. Now, let's start looking at let's look at the cards okay why is the six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here okay too many cards that fell oops Start again. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> you got the King of Wands. So you got the King and Queen of Wands here. Very strong in energy. Ooh. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. And let me just get the other card. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> and the Five of Wands. Wow. 
Okay, so I feel that at one point, the Five of Wands came in together with the Nine of Swords. There was an energy around you or energies around you of people fighting or people or some type of gossip or this could be within you, okay? Uh, maybe just around you, you had people that were very, you know, frustrated, uh, you know, they, gossip uh, or just people fighting, but not physically fighting, but just like, you know, a lot of verbal agreements here. Okay, and uh, maybe there was someone of your past, but whatever it is, if this is a person that's coming in, okay, I just want to refer, hold on a second. Okay, if the Six of Pentacles talks about a person coming in from your past, let's say this is someone from your past, just to say, okay, because I do see that, I, that you are thinking about the past a lot here. Okay, maybe at one point you were fighting a lot, but I think things are going to be better this time around because of the Six of Pentacles energy, okay? And maybe you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy here. Uh, the, King of, the King of Wands is someone that is uh, usually goes after what they want and they're very courageous. This could also be you in energy as well. It could also be you or this could be another individual that you're dealing with, okay? They're also very generous, very frank very blunt okay and they're very like they're very passionate about life with the queen of pentacles okay i feel that this is uh could also be you gem or you're dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn but i feel that this is you in energy where you are successful you're grounded uh you are material satisfied here okay you worked hard for your money and uh, you you are at this point or if you're not at this point at this moment you will be at this point okay because there's something that shifted here Okay, now let's look at this Knight of Pentacles that's coming towards you. What is this Knight of Pentacles about? Okay, you got the Seven of Swords, the Moon card, okay, and the Tower. Wow, 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 wow. Whoever that's coming towards you is taking their time, right? They're coming in very slowly, taking their time. And a lot of you have fears. I don't know who this message is, if it's this message, but some of you have fears about this individual. If this is someone from your past that's coming in slowly. Okay, there's a lot of fears and securities. You went through a very, a lot of difficult moments. Okay, uh, with the Seven of Swords, there's some type, some type of information that's been without. Like they're not speaking about it or you're not, or if it if it's information without, or the person that you're dealing with, okay, they're withholding information. It doesn't have to be negative, okay, if, if they're withholding information, okay, it doesn't mean it has to be, maybe they don't want to share, they're, they don't want to share with you what it is that they're really thinking, okay, or feeling, uh, or this could be you as an individual. <clears throat> with the moon card, <clears throat> this is Neptune. So like I said, you're going through a passage, you're in the unknown, you're in the void, you're in the cocoon stage, right, before you turn into a butterfly. And, and this talks about like releasing the fears, you're going to be releasing the fears, you're also going to be like, uh, because at this time there's like a lot, maybe a lot, so for some of you have a lot of difficult, you're having difficulties, okay, uh, uh, just a lot of fears are associated to this, okay. But <clears throat> don't fear, the divine is coming in. The tower card is positive. The divine is coming in to clear this type of energy. Maybe some of you are, are suffering in silence. Maybe some of you are keeping this to yourself. Okay, whatever it is. But the tower card is coming in to clear energy, people, situations around you, to put you on the right path or to put you where you need to be. So it's a very, very positive card. Okay, now let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. Because right here, what I have on the table, with the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ten of Cups, the Temperance card, and the Ace of Wands is very, very, very positive. Now, let's look at what uh, they want you to focus on. They want you to focus on the Ten of Pentacles, okay? <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot reversed. The Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you are probably still solo. Some of you, not all of you. Okay. Whether well, one they want you to talk, they want you to know that whatever you you've been trying to manifest the, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, it's coming for you. In the meantime, you have to follow through with what's going on. Okay. The Chariot 
card talks about that yeah, you're not taking control of a situation you're not moving forward at this time this is what they want you to focus on and know so the month of june some of you will not be moving forward in the way that you want not all of you will do this okay why and you like again you have the two nines look at this the nine of cups with the nine of pentacles you got the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles on the ground so some of you are still single okay and the nine of cups talks about wishing wishes coming fulfilled something that's coming in to fulfill you the nine of pentacles talks about you stand you are very um um independent you take care of yourself you're also very much in touch of, with mother nature and the animals okay so like you're like maybe you're gardening at this time maybe you're taking care of yourself okay and you're you're manifesting your dreams come true but you're not <clears throat> you're not taking you're not moving forward you're you're still like manifesting but what's coming for you is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is what they want you to focus on because this is coming for you. All right. So it's very positive. Now let's look at the Nine of Swords. Okay. In the in the recent past. Let's look at the Nine of Swords energy. And why is this Nine of Swords here? You got the Three of Wands reversed. You got the world card. Very good. Something got completed in your recent past. And you got the empress. And something came to... Oh, that's beautiful. So whatever it is that you were worried about or you're thinking about was something that had to do with someone coming from afar. I feel like someone was coming from afar. I mean, you know, just like someone from far from you. And something got cut or halted or something stopped, okay? Whatever it was, something ended. But it put a lot of fears in you and... And you were over, you were worried, okay? But whatever that took place, there was completion that took place with this. Some type of completion came in with the world card. This is mean you're learning, you learned all your past life experiences. You learned, you need to learn what you needed to learn. You completed it. It's an ending of a cycle. You're at pause before you take the next step, okay? And there's light travel indicated with the Empress, meaning everything you touch turns to gold. You got the golden touch. You got the golden touch. The Midas touch, if you want to say that, okay? This is like new opportunities, abundance coming in for you, okay? Um, it's like you're very, also very compassionate. You're very nurturing. This could also be a mother figure for some of you, okay? Uh, and, and energy, she is here. But I see that this is like you having great ideas and all everything coming to fruition in the way that you want. Now, let's look at the page of wands of what's above you. Why is the page of wands here? You got the shadow side. Hmm. Okay, well, that's normal because you are in. Okay, I'll, okay, give me a second. You got the sun card. And you got the three of pentacles. This is nice. Okay, so a lot of you are probably going through the, the, the dark night of the soul here. Why I tell you that is because with the nine of swords energy, the moon card. The moon card, because the moon card, there's a lot of confusion and illusion and deception. And there's something that does not look like it really is. Let's say like you, you're you thinking that, the, let's say this has to do with someone from the past. And you you think that it's never, they're never going to come through or they're never going to contact you for whatever reason that something happened. Okay. Well, it doesn't look as it, as it appears. Okay. And with, <clears throat> with the, the shadow side here, it says, it shows me that you're in a cocoon stage and some of you are going to turn into this beautiful butterfly. So right now you're in the unknown, okay? There's all these things happening and maybe that's what you're feeling. The tower card is coming in to clear everything and some of you really need this because it's all abundance I see here, okay? And with the seven of swords and the moon card, okay? If, if What I feel because the cards came out like this is that when the cards come out in this fashion, it means everything will be cleared from you, okay? You're going to release those fears. Now, with this card here, you got the shadow with the page of wands energy. So there is some type of releasing you're going through. But you don't need to worry because you got the sun card and the three of pentacles. So the sun card talks about all the happy vibes. Any, vi any vibe that's happy, there it is. It talks about success. It talks about where, um, you know... You're, that, that the universe is agreeing on your path, okay? And it's going to bring you forward on in ways that it's unexpected. This could be a soulmate energy. And whatever this is will be stable. Again, with the Three of Pentacles, this could be some of you will get married. It could be for some of you. Or you're going to go to a higher level in your commitments. 
That could also be, and this is like being in cooperation with people, with your family, with maybe a business that you're teaching others, or this is, has to do with a partnership that you are in. So this is very nice to see that. Now let's look at the Seven of Pentacles energy. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? This is what's coming towards you. So you got the Seven of Pentacles here. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Lover's card, and the Eight of Wands. Gemini, I really love your reading. Honestly, you have beautiful cards, okay? And the Seven of, like I said, the Seven of Pentacles, you're reevaluating everything, seeing how far you come. The Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Wheel is turning in your favor. This is luck, destiny, okay? Profound changes are going to take place, and second chances are coming in for you. The Wheel very very good and here you're coming to your reading gemini as the lover's card yes it could be a twin flame for some of you okay even if you don't believe in twin flames okay in um, soulmate energy a lover a friend if you're single this it's someone that's coming in to change your life and there's going to be a lot of beautiful messages maybe it's from another gemini whatever the case is there's going to be a lot of messages coming in very passionate messages fast paced messages that are coming in now, let's look at the Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, too many cards. So why is the Knight of Swords here? And what is the message from the Knight of Swords? What is the message here? Okay. There's going to be a big secret. There's going to be a secret that's going to come out. Okay, with the high priestess reverse. So there's, there's something will be revealed to you. Doesn't mean it's negative. Something that is will be revealed to you. Okay, and you will rise above the situation because you got the seven of wands energy. So some of you are already have risen above the situation, or you will rise above the situation. And uh, it's about trusting your intuition at this time. Okay, trust your intuition. With the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is you. This could also be you, or this is someone that you're dealing with. Someone's coming in emotionally available. Their heart and their mind are in one. They are able to communicate very clearly. They have a lot of wisdom, but they're very compassionate and kind energy here, wherever that's coming in. And now let's look at what Spirit wants you to know, what you need to know. So with the Ten of Cups energy. You got the Two of Wands, the Strength card. You got the Queen of Cups and Justice. You have all the cards. All the major arcana cards are all here. You got the Sun, which is the most positive card. You got the Three of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. You got Temperance. You got like the Tower card. Uh, you got beautiful cards. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the world card, the lover's card. Everything's here for you. Someone's coming in that will have the same vision as you. And you're going to start making steps forward together. So you are dealing with a Leo energy or you have Leo in your chart. This is returning to good health. Or let's say if you had an injury or you're not feeling good, you will return to good health. This talks about where you're going to be having the courage to move forward. The courage and taming whatever you have inside, balancing the light and shadow and loving them both so it could be equal, right? But uh, this is having courage and having the confidence here. And you have the Queen of Cups. So you have the King, Queen and King of Cups here and the King and Queen of Wands energy. This is someone that is, um, some of you are cuspers here as well, that you were born like on June 21st or 22nd, give or take. Um, so... Again, you know, a very compassionate, very loving, very nerd like beautiful energy here, open heart, unconditional love, also very psychic energy. And uh yeah, rulings will be made in your favor and you're gonna be standing in your truth. Okay. I feel like this is both you, Gemini, as the as uh your heart, your heart and mind will be complete and rebalanced and realigned and wherever that the situation is about whatever the situation is about with the with the justice card it talks about standing in your truth and things will be imbalanced and everybody that's in this will be treated fairly or you're dealing with a libra energy 
Now let's look at the Queen of Wands energy here. You got the Three of Pentacles, uh, the Three of Swords, sorry, the Three of Swords energy. Hmm. So there's a healing that needs to be done here still. I feel that there's a healing that still needs to be done here. You're trying to heal. So the Three of Swords energy, the Queen of Wands, and what else? The Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Okay. You're still a lot of you are still carrying this type of energy around you. That's why we have healers out there. If you cannot do a healing and you tried everything, you should get in contact with my healers because they will help you to get unstuck. They will help you to heal yourself, especially your, your broken heart because a lot of you are still feeling stuck, but this is all in your mind. Change the perception, you know. And the Five of Cups talks about where you are releasing, you are releasing, you're releasing resentment, hurt, guilt, whatever it is, but there's a silver lining here and knowing that everything happens for a reason. Something took place that had to take place. It was universal law, I feel, for some of you. And um, with the Three of Swords energy, it just proves to me here and shows to me with all these three cards that there is a profound, deep healing that needs to be taken, that needs to be done here, okay? So please contact me if you need a healer. And now let's look at the uh, Temperance and the Ace of Wands energy. Why is the Temperance? And the Ace of Wands here. Oops, too many cards. Okay. Why is the Temperance card the Eight of Cups? Why is the Ace of Wands here with the with the, the Temperance? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, so what I feel here strongly is that because of this hurt, whatever the situation is, there is some type of resistance from, with, with some, some gems out there about reaching out to someone that probably really hurt you a lot. Okay, maybe there is some type of blockage here. And some of you are have walked away from a particular situation looking for your ninth cup, which you have it, and your tenth cup. Okay, this shows me that you walked away from something or someone walked away from you. And uh, what I feel very strongly here is that uh, with the Four of Wands energy, there's, there's going to be some type of proposal. Maybe someone's going to ask you out, maybe ask you out on a date. It could be, uh, or ask you to marry them, if or going to a different level or moving in with someone. And there will be a new beginning because it's divinely guiding with the fool. So there is a new beginning, but you need to have patience. And I really believe that this person truly loves you because I feel I feel it here in the reading. Okay. Now, let's look at the Magician. Why is the Magician card here for you? You got the Six of uh, Swords. Uh, you got the Page of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay. Here we go. With the Magician card, that you can manifest anything you want, some of you are going to be going through a transition, a profound change. That's what it means. From a dark place to a light place, from a troubled time to lighter time, some of you are going to be relocating or moving. With the Page of Pentacles, there is some type of apology coming towards you, or you're going to give an apology to someone, okay? But the Page of Pentacles also talks about some type of stability coming in. There's some type of stability, okay? This could be work, money for some of you, or a friend or someone that's coming in that's going to bring some type of stability here with the Page of Pentacles, with the Emperor card, this talks about, look, now I have the Empress and the Emperor here, mother or father figure for some of you. Or, uh, you know, maybe they're going through a tough time, maybe, but I feel that they're going to be okay. I really feel things are going to be okay here for most part of you, but it all depends what you're going to do with uh, this type of situation with the Five of Cups, uh, Eight of Swords energy. Uh, this is where I see the blockage here, okay, with the Three of uh, Swords the emperor talks about success, commitment, stability, uh, having everything under control. Okay, there's some type of control here, having everything under control and setting up new rules or boundaries. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Aries, but whatever situation here, what I see here is that something is shifting for you. It's something already shifted. And if you don't feel this, it's coming towards you. 
Okay, keep going, keep doing what you're doing because you are on the right path. I do see that. But I do see like very strongly here that some of you need healings or some type of clearing. Okay, some type of energy that needs to be cleared. Or it, this could also be for the individual, the person that you're dealing with. Maybe you want them to heal. You want them to uh, remove some type of energy on them. You could also do that for, your, for them if you like. And underneath the deck, I got the King of Swords. So... Gemini, maybe some of you are still angry about something, not seeing a solution to it. You're not looking at a solution. Maybe you're dealing with a King of Swords energy that does not want to see. I feel that there's no communication with a particular person. I, I just feel that there's no communication here from, from, from someone. Someone not seen clearly. Someone that cut off somebody here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think some of you, um, you know, well, if I look at the other cards underneath, I just feel that you know, there was uh, there was an opportunity here. There was some type of opportunity that was missed for some of you. But like I said, the second chances are coming back again for some of you here. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Now let's look at your animal spirit guide. Your animal spirit is the horse. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, the horse represents the most masterful form of energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum, so reliable, so supportive that you can ride on its back toward any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to, available to us when we own and collect our energy through daily practice. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. So when you're in balance, you achieve anything. When you're out of balance, you out of balance, you run away. And to bring into balance is strength training. So some type of strength training or training needs to be taken. So the horse will be with you in this week's energy. Now let's look at the crystal that you need. Your crystal is Tanzanite and it's clarity. And this talks about the third eye. So your crystal that you got is clarity and it's the third eye. Uh, the crystal meaning is opens you to spiritual wisdom and sharing this knowledge from the heart. Opens and activates the third eye chakra, enhancing clarity, vision, and imagination. Assists in communicating with higher aspects of self and creating a deep knowing and wisdom and allows you to see with clarity. You have called this powerful card into your existence today to share with you that the essence of clarity is now upon you. When you obtain clarity, you get to see things exactly as they are with no confusion or delusion. Clarity can bring many blessings, allowing you to see deeply into situations and experiences and receive direction, wisdom, and knowledge. If you have been feeling a sense of confusion and not have been able to see through the fog of the mind, know that this that this time is coming to an end and clarity is here. Tanzanite is shining its medicine into your third eye. Open and receive this powerful energy. Feel it opening your chakra and heal, embathing you in its essence of clarity. It is time to see clearly to see clearly into situations that may, may have been clouding your judgment as you connect deeply with your own intuition and guidance. The time of Tanzanite, the time of confusion is over and the divas are shining the violet light of Tanzanite your way, illumining your path so you can see clearly again. Ask that the light transmutes all confusion and mind clutter. Feel it moving out of your aura, leaving you feeling radiant, cleansed and clear and enjoy the clarity that is now manifesting in your life. So, Time is the night will be with you for this week. And your quantum energy is from spirit, your higher self, the sacred life line. This card shows a woman's heart with the brilliant white wings radiating golden light. It represents your own internal spirit, your higher self, the part of you that existed before this life, before all the, all the issues you think this life is about. You are entering, entering a very valuable and intuitive time one in which you're able to feel the true depth of your power. You are shedding the feelings of doubt and limitation, reaching deep within to feel the boundless strength of eternity vibrating in your soul. This is your true self, your lifeline to truth, higher consciousness and timeless connections. Meditate on your soul's identity to gain all the understanding you need and all the solutions that you seek. Your soul is clearing the way for profound blessings to come. So let the sacred self guide you as you do you'll begin to notice mag light you'll begin to notice magical happenings in your life and your affirmation gems are i live i live in the value power and deserving of my eternal self i live in the value power and deserving of my higher of my eternal self 
My soul connects me to all solutions. Again, I'll say it. I live in the value, power, and deserving of my eternal self. And my soul connects me to all solutions. Right. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. My beautiful gems. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Please stay safe and I'll see you next week. Bye.